Okay, well, I wanted to do a chill immortal game and maybe do some engineering shenanigans. And I had a request to play Isabella. Uh, we'll go immortal. Um, I think it's Pangea if you're looking to do engineering. That's the best map to do it on. Oh, it's really a top tier rush on Pangea and... A lot of the time you can do it on DT, but yeah, I don't know. Sometimes you can't. Um, we could spice this up a bit and go random personalities, maybe, just to make it a bit different. Go the random climate as well. Should be a bit more interesting than just a random immortal Pangea normal stuff. Yeah. Okay, so random personalities as well, why not? But I want to smash some people with trebuchets. Basically the idea here. Um, yeah, I try to mix the, the content on this channel between DT and Immortal because there are a audience that prefers Immortal since it's a lot more applicable to lower levels like Monarch and Emperor. A lot of the DD stuff you do can't be done on lower levels, but Immortal is a good example on how to work your way up. Okay, so Isabella, Spanish Empire, Spiritual Expansive, two of my most favorite traits. Not the best traits, but pretty high up. Third and fourth best traits for sure. Somewhere up there anyway. Um, I just love these traits and I think the synergy between the two is quite strong you've got expansive early game expansion faster workers faster granaries uh, health bonus and then spiritual allows you to swap your swap your civics around uh, with ease and religion and stuff and saves you several turns of anarchy during the game also a very nice trait um and the starting text are pretty bad with spain starting with fishing and mysticism yeah it's gross it's okay if you're on the coast it's pretty terrible inland so hopefully we have like a river and some corn or something workable otherwise we'll have to make some awkward plays i suppose the uniques of Spain are the best part. It's one of the civs that has really cool unique units and building. So we got the Conquistador, which is a better Quirisir. And Quirisir is already one of the most overpowered units in the game. And this one is just better. So if you want to do a Quirisir rush, do it with Isabella. You get a 50% bonus versus melee units, which is super effective. Because the AI will have a lot of melee units when you're using this unit. They will be usually defending with macemen and swordsmen and crap like that and they and pikemen especially and those units are pretty tough in the cities but with a 50 percent bonus that really helps you will swing your odds from 50 percent to like 80 percent um so very very powerful and they also get defensive bonuses which means you can run around in their territory in the forests and hills and they can't really do anything to you you can pillage stuff you can choke them you can threaten multiple points and you never have to worry about getting counter-attacked or picked off by elephants and pikes a very 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 good unit the citadel is a castle which gives new siege weapons five extra experience points um, which allows you to get to City Raider 3 on your Siege Weapons very easily. This is very powerful to get you lots of super strong trebuchets or cannons. Keep in mind it's a castle, so it goes obsolete at economics, which is really, really annoying. But you can delay and skip economics for a long time until you need assembly line technically. So you can use this on trebuchets, you can use this on cannons, you can even use this on artillery if you beeline it. So you can get a lot of value out of it. It's a nice building and it's it's quite interesting. It's different to most unique buildings. Um, so yeah, if we get stone, we might build them everywhere. If we don't have stone, I might only build a couple and just pump out the trebs in those cities. We'll see. But I want to do engineering rush and with someone that gets better trebuchets, um, you don't get much better of a leader.
but she's really good for query seas too so you can just do like whatever you want with her you just got to get past the early game and that's the tricky part with spain so we went random personalities keep that in mind we don't know who the hell we're dealing with felt that would be a nice twist we've got rocky climate that's yeah that's all right bit interesting i don't think it's too dire it's not like cold climate and starting in the ice but definitely an interesting one yeah, that's not an oasis right there. I'm checking for fresh water on this tile, but uh, there's no fresh water on this tile, so that's not an oasis, that's not an oasis, and that's not an oasis. That is not either. You see, you can kind of check this stuff just by mousing over tiles. It's quite interesting. So there's nothing of value over there. Those are just desert tiles, but I could go here and see a bunch over here with my warrior. So that, yeah, by mousing over that, it helps me tell me what these are. They're just bare desert tiles, so I go here and... Okay, we definitely really want to grab those. Hold on, one second. Okay, sorry about that. I need some music. Okay, definitely want to go this way, I think. Especially in like an engineering rush. You're not going to use every single tile in the capital. So it doesn't matter if there's like a plains tile or desert tile even it looks like there's floodplains further that way but i'm not gonna go that crazy i think um i guess i could go here but i'll lose the pig i could go here i'll lose the plains hill so the plains hill seems pretty good to me we kind of have to keep a bit of a watch on these idiots I guess we can move. Is that a hill on this tile? It might be. I technically would see more if I move here, but I want to go check out down here, I think. I see this tile. Ah, yeah, two floodplains here. Okay, so it's not a hill. We can put another city that way, though, no problem. Now we've got to figure out our tech path. So, wet corn. Pretty much warrants agriculture first. Now the nice thing is plain seal, expensive, four hammers, uh, faster worker. Faster than even faster. So instead of 12 turns, it's down to 10. Really nice. So expensive, you know, right there giving me a two turn head start already. Everything's two turns faster. I'll get another turn when I switch into slavery because I'm spiritual. Super nice traits. <clears throat> Um, I think animal husbandry is a mistake. Just mine it, really. Go agriculture, hunting, bronze working. Wait until turn five to choose, but probably something like that. You can delay your research for the first five turns. That way you might meet somebody who starts with the tech. You get a 5% discount for each person who knows the tech that you're researching that you have met. And just in case you want to change your mind and go for animal husbandry, strangely enough, you know, you can swap your research in the first five turns, you won't lose anything. It stalls the beakers if you put them into nothing. But if you go six turns, you lose everything, so you could be careful. We'll try and play a little bit slow and explain some of the fundamentals for low-level players, perhaps. Can't guarantee anything. I go autopilot mode quite a lot. So I like to move my starting unit on as many hills as possible because hills give you like you know 25 tiles visibility as opposed to just nine pretty much you know i'm seeing stuff two tiles away instead of one it's just a general good rule um until the animals and um archers from the barbs start appearing that is once once those guys appear you gotta stick to forests but until then, you can kind of go on the hills and get good visibility. There's two floodplains, there's not much else, but I should probably check for fish. If there's fish here, this spot will be fantastic. We also start with fishing. I think I want to go to this hill and then I'll come back down south later and fog bust. But we'll take a look to the north first. 
because I could go south first and then north, but I think I want to keep this guy in the south once I'm done exploring a little bit, because yeah, the Tundra Barbarians can be pretty brutal. The land doesn't look particularly great, but the capital is nice in the early game with several good tiles, but long term the land is not too impressive, but it should be fine for this difficulty. Well, never mind. That's actually much better. Oh, okay. Okay. So I'm kind of looking at this spot right here. It's a little bit awkward to settle, though, because how do I get these three and the floodplains? It's not easy, is it? If I go here to get my floodplains, I... I might not get that, although that's not a huge deal. Dry wheat, I could go on the hill there too. Could go here and here, but that's crap. This would be immediately useful. Bang, bang. Several good tiles right here. On a Pangea map, settling on the coast is really not that important at all. But a fractal map, especially if you are like isolated, semi-isolated, or have continent situation, having cities on the coast is a lot better. Um, because you'll need to build boats at some point on those maps. But on this map, not too important. Yeah, it's a little bit awkward. Having the capital here would have been really nice, to be honest, but how am I supposed to know that was there? Yeah, I'm not sure what we do. No mention of Sunoha Marabi, by the way. Um, yeah. Well, let's see what's down here. If that, if there's like something here, we can get a city here and go here and here. I kind of want to just go here, just to get the power tiles up earlier. Oh, by the way, elephants are really good for engineering rushes. I didn't mention that, but engineering rushes are much easier if you have elephants, because elephants counter just about everything the AI can throw at you. So they won't throw stuff at you, which means they'll let you just walk up and slam your trebs into their city, and then the trebs will just destroy them. Yeah, make our way to the tundra. Try and get to this tile before lions and wolves and especially bears come after me. Pericles! It came from down here, which is kind of weird. Okay. Not too close, but he's somewhere on the left. This must be a lake or an inland sea then. Or he's like in a really awkward starting spot. Need more information, marble. Yeah. Now that's not the usual Pericles, it could be anyone. And wow, we got a big tundra to the south. Mango archery, since we're going hunting anyway. Ugh, that tundra. It's pretty disgusting. I might keep the warrior right there. And a capac. Okay. Not mining. What am I doing? Hunting. Ah. Talk about playing like an idiot. Go hunting. Oh, that was stupid. Well, mining is not bad. Actually, mining the pig is a thing that we want to do, technically. 
So actually, it's... I don't know if it's better than this, though. Just always instinctively go bronze working, but wait a sec. This is somewhat better. Gets me a faster settler, it's lower commerce, but I can work this for commerce, and I think I might do that. Delay my growth one turn. Get mining and stuff a bit faster. I think I'll do that, really. I lose one turn on growth, but I gain, like, a turn on research. And then I have time to get mining, and then I can get hunting and get over here in time. And Yeah, I'll probably do that. Get the food back by working this. Oh, I don't know. Should be fine. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we have the spot here. Could go on the hill, but then I just lose the food for a long time. Swap back to this as soon as the farm finishes. It's not going to make a difference on the growth. It'll grow in... Three, regardless. What the heck? Yeah, it's working that for a bit of commerce. Okay, let's swap. Still get it in two. Good, I wouldn't have been able to do it in two without working that, that whole time. And now mining actually finishes in time, so we're fine. Just in time. Perfect. Disaster averted, guys. The man who moved a mountain begins by carrying away small stones. So, let's see. Well, we're about to lose commerce, which will delay hunting another turn by working that. So let's work this for a couple turns, then we'll get our production once this mine finishes. Since we have a lot of very good tiles, I would like to grow this to size 4, maybe. And because Immortal and anything below AI expands slower, you have less pressure to get your first settler off. So just generally just growing to size 4 and then building your settler is better. Or a higher size in general to work your good tiles. I should... Oh yeah, so I got another discount. You saw the bump because I met another guy that starts with it. Hunting is still in 3, that's beautiful. Get this warrior to that tile would be nice, although I'll take a peek on this forest hill here for some more stuff and then see about, yeah, I can like zigzag my way down here to the hill, good spot to fog bust and get good odds against barb archers. This mark. So none of these guys are their usual self, like the cow could be Genghis Khan, could be a complete nut. I think I'm going to be one turn late from hunting. Which is unfortunate. Oh, what can you do? Ah, uh, this. Hmm. Yeah. That's a dry rice. Not that inspiring. There might be more stuff down here, and this warrior is going to check here. With all these guys walking around my empire in circles, it's pretty unlikely there's going to be a barb right outside my border. So yeah. Let's do this and grow in three turns. So we can work these. And then by growing a turn faster, we can start on the settler a turn faster. And yeah, we got, we got enough warriors, I think, on the way. More furs there, furs here. Yeah, good to know. Move this one. 
I think we want bronze working now. Chop the stuff out. Just early bronze working, early slavery gives you lots of options. More important than animal husbandry. By getting animal husbandry and turning that into a pasture, that's a lot of worker turns, and it's also 15 turns of research or whatever, 11 turns of research for one hammer. Not well. Okay, I guess we're not going that way. Uh, no, thank you. All right then. Yeah, I think we're going up here. Unless, eh, nothing special over there. Could fail gold to Stonehenge. To be fair, for a turn. Not a bad thing. The hammers on the settler might go poof. Yeah, okay. Put a turn into the hinge, basically seven gold for later. Don't think the barbs will be too much of an issue that side. There's no improvements as well, so I can just defend in my city. So I won't even bother fog busting that. I'll go elsewhere. This side might be good to fog bust. Turn settler, that's not too bad. We'll probably build a mine on that tile. I'd like to explore further north, but I don't dare. If I want the clam, I can also go here if it's still available. But this secures me the wheat and the two floodplains, it's good enough, as I said. Just look to settle cities that are immediately useful, rather than going here when I don't have animal husbandry and I need to build a monument, then I need to build a boat. It's not doing anything for a very long time, that's going to cost me a lot. This one can be connected with one single road, it can work all these high commerce tiles, the floodplains can be cottaged. I've got agriculture for the wheat, I don't need a monument, it's just so much better to just get this one. It's my first spot. Tokugawa! It might be somebody else. You never know. So we'll be able to see by favourite civics and tech trading and opening borders and stuff like that. Also the bribing. Well, we have time to mine this. We may as well. Until bronze working finishes. Ah, that's not bad. You can definitely put a thing down here. So I could go for the marble. I think I'll do split. I could go here and get a nice river city where cottages. But I think really I'll go here and then, like, maybe here, grab the furrow rice. You can chop a monument a bit later in here and get more stuff. This way I'll just get everything. This one, yeah. Get the marble, open up some options. See? But yeah, we'll go up here first. To the north. Try and get our warrior a bit further south and fuck bust more stuff. Maybe on this hill here, on this forest here. Uh, that's what I'm afraid of. Snap. That's not good. Please go somewhere else. I'll go here so I can keep an eye on where he is. They shouldn't be entering your borders for uh, a while on this difficulty. Who 
been here for a couple of turns and fog bust these. Once I put the city down, I'll have this tile, and then these tiles will all be fog busted by the city's culture that goes across. The visibility will go across the water and reveal these tiles, and then I can put the warrior back down here and cover a lot of visibility. Just stop the barbarians spawning in. It's important to take the barbarians pretty seriously. They're one of the hardest things to deal with on the high difficulty levels. I think they're my number one nemesis for DT. And a lot of people complain about them when they first get to Emperor and Immortal and stuff. So. Knowing how to fog bust and what you need is pretty important. Oh, that's not where I wanted you to go, man. Uh, that's just really annoying. So I kind of have to delay this settle until that guy goes away. Which is a real bummer. Don't go here. Thank you. It is entirely seamless. A young man killed in battle. Okay, he went away, and I can immediately settle this city. And he won't come in for another 15 turns at least, so we're fine. No way for a blame more. We'll just use our expensive bonus immediately and build a worker like that. Now we'll have to deal with this archer at some point, but we have time. Got copper as well. That's a really good spot right here. Yeah, this city will be able to work that copper. That might be my number three actually. I might go for that immediately. Or do I want a quick worker? Three turn worker, I don't think you can really argue with that. I got a lot to chop, I'm gonna need to build roads. I get a road here, build a road on the elephant, improve the, the wheat. A lot of worker turns are required in this start, so you can make a case for another quick worker, and I'm in three turn worker, that's really nice. Make sure stuff doesn't pop up, we want to keep the spot safe. A little bit dangerous to do this with just warriors. Bring a second guy up here. Because we're spiritual, we don't have to immediately switch into slavery or try and time it right. We just do it whenever we need it. Because you pay more upkeep for slavery than you do for tribalism. Who are we going to put our espionage points on? Uh, maybe Hyena, he went for a religion. He's not putting his points on me. How do they feel about each other? Bismarck hates Hyena. So the minus one first impression thing is... You can basically just ignore it. It's just like default. Defaulted. To the base attitude. The peace weights. There's no way to figure out the peace weights. Um even with Buffy mod, so that's cool. Minus one, and he's pleased. Tokugawa, yes, okay, he likes Tokugawa, he hates Tokugawa, and he hates Hyanna. So that tells me Tokugawa and Hyanna, yeah, they're similar piece weight. Tokugawa, Hyanna, might be high piece weight or might be low piece weight. Bismarck seems angry with everyone. Could be like a Monty or Isabella, just a typical AI that hates everyone. Maybe someone with base attitude of minus two, for example. Or piece weight zero or something. Um, Tokugawa seems pretty mid. He might even be like a bit of a Zara or something. Pleased, cautious, 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 although that might be more like Pericles, actually. I mean, minus one and pleased. That's like your Zara, maybe, or Gandhi. Same with Pikao. So Pikao, Pericles, Tokugawa all like each other, kind of. Yeah, that's what we're working with. I 
I want to go up there. Don't need to really improve this until the work is done. I could chop the worker here, to be fair. I could chop my settler. Do both chop that, then chop that. Yeah, chop that. That'll get this guy away faster than they can both farm that. Seems alright. Giving that archer a few turns to walk away before we go up there. I'll wait until I have both warriors for it. Push together. Got my Stonehenge money. Go for the wheel. They're pretty slow expanding like this. But above, the barbarians aren't entering anytime soon. Nice, Ayana. Okay, so we should be safe up there. Put these guys up here and fuck us that direction. We're already close to the Inca. Chop chop time? Yeah, I think it's chop chop time. Uh oh. Well, we have really decent odds. It's 2.4 versus a 3.5. Put on some slow combat for these very decisive early battles. I have a very good chance at killing him. We'll see if that means anything. But I think I'll take this fight. That's the best shot I got. Oh, never mind. Hey, we may want to reconsider that now, because there's two of them there. They're not coming at me, they just happen to randomly wander there. Chop that, save four turns on the worker, what a bargain. That guy's just killing everyone. Yeah, the warrior was here. He could be here, here, but he could also be here. If I go here, I might get double attacked. But if I go here, should be able to kill that archer. Okay, wow, yeah, maybe here at some point. That's not a bad spot. Don't know if I can beat the Inca to it. There he is, elephants. Start farming that one. He didn't do it. Pretty unlikely they're both here. Well, we've got to wait a bit for the wheel, so let's... Let's go for a monument in here, I think. Get the pig. How many bastard? Yeah, six percent. Got a turn to kill. I could chop again, or I could start roading. I think just to chop into the next settler. We'll expand fairly quickly. Yeah, because we want that spot, then we want to get this spot. So let's just start going for another settler straight away. Uh, I'll chop here. And then I can go to the peak. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Okay, so we should be pretty safe from barbs on this side. Go back. Brennus. Well, we've met the two religious guys, and Brennus and Hyena absolutely hate each other. And you can see minus three, minus two. So Hyena doesn't care about religion too much, but he doesn't really like anyone. 
Might be a bit of a Jengus or something. Or, uh, it's not Monty. Monty would be like minus four immediately. Or minus three immediately, at least. We'll know more. We'll know for sure who's who once we start seeing civics. And bribing requirements. Okay, I could go archery, the barbs. But I think I can hold them off with warriors, so I'll just further develop and get cottages instead, I think. I think we'll be okay, I think. Get the road up because I want to road this tile and I could go here, but yeah, just might as well road. It's a free worker move to road there. Or whatever. Now we go here. That'll give me plus two commerce. And we're going to immediately go for another settler for this one. Hopefully there's not too many barb archers down there. We have time though. Should be able to get this settler out and another warrior after that. And we've got another chop coming in. Fast expansion. Hmm, could be barbs up there actually. Should maybe go on this tile and hog bust a little bit. Okay, in five turns we will get the copper. We can start hooking that up if we really want. We can road here, then jump here and road here. Just free worker turns. Road here, then I road here next turn. Or I go here, then I road here next turn. But why move when you could move and road? Get a free road on the way. I don't think I need another chop for that. I think I'd rather just connect my stuff while that guy improves the food. Because when we get pottery, we want to do cottages. No, it's good to go here to be fair, but it's not that important. Here... Yeah. Well, he gets the copper faster, but I already just moved off. Yeah, this one gets two extra forests. In fact, three extra forests because I save one. There is some value in that. Um, let's fog bust a little more. Let's make sure speed doesn't pop up in our back lines. Let's get the monument. I could also just whip. I'd like to whip into a granary if I'm gonna whip. Do that in a moment. Nice, that helps with the fog busting as well. Covering so many tiles now. Oh yeah, I never got animal husbandry. Whoops. What about that? Ah, oh, that's awkward actually. Okay, so next we go animal husbandry for sure. Um, in that case we just get a warrior and grow to size two. It will become a spear and uh, we could also go for this. Yeah, maybe just work on a monument. Yeah, that's all right. Not the end of the world. Okay, we could help with roading here, then we can get ready to cottage in a moment. Also, I want to get the copper. Next one is going up there, but that's pretty safe with Hyena. Bog busting that. Now I'll just do that.
Focusing on our oh shit early expansion. Oh, they shouldn't be entering yet. It's a little early. Get in position to cottage, or do I want to hook the metal up, or what? I've still got three turns, so no, I think you cottage first. I can go slavery now. And we could whip that. Just to get the whip timer going and it'll overflow into the granary and it should get the granary fairly fast. Yeah, okay, we're fine. Not the potter power over the no panic. To make one vessel unto honor and another unto no panic. Yeah, maybe whipping wasn't actually the play there because I want to work footage at a moment. Damn. Need animal husbandry. Really need animal husbandry for this one. I guess we can chop boats. Cancel a worker there and start moving him up there to chop the boat because we don't need to finish the cottage right away until size 2 really. Might have been a premature whip. Probably wasn't the best idea whipping that. On the bright side, I get the culture a bit faster though, so I get the style a bit faster. In fact, I could even put the city there. Get this clam. And my culture will take the peak, although that allows him to put a thing right here in my face and probably possibly steal the pig. If I go here, I ruin this ivory so he can't ever work it, won't have it for a while. But he can't put a city right there, so you've got to kind of think about denying land. Like, sure, this is nice, gets an extra clam and you get free food and hooray, but yeah, you got to think about where they're going to put their cities, where they could put their cities and really screw you up. By going here, the closest he can go is right here. And he might do that, but he's not going to get anything from me. He'll be able to work the elephants and that's it. There's still two turns until copper, so we could chop this. Or pre-chop it. Could also rope this. I'm wondering what's better. We'll want to improve this later. I'll chop a granary. Can't be a bad thing to do. Whack the hammers because they're expensive. Helps us a lot. Let's do that, do that, get our granaries up. Or well, we could also just go for another settler in here. Just a big expansion. But this one, it's not that inspiring. I think I should chill a bit. Uh, this is where we might think about just working commerce and growing and stuff instead. Focus on development and tech a bit. Okay. Alright. Secure warrior up. This is a very defendable position. Uh, this area should be 100% safe. The borders are up there. He did not build the Great Wall. But somebody needs to go here and chop the boat. See where that warrior goes. I still two turn this guy, so that's fine. Animal husbandry, not quite yet. We can actually go down one more here. Oh, look at him sitting there healing and fog busting for me. What a nice guy. What a great guy. Anything change here? We got minus four, minus three for religion, minus two for religion. Yeah, so this guy's not actually very religious. Not the usual hyena for sure. It's somebody else. 
We'll see more when more people get the religion. No, he went away. Okay. We'll fortify here. So I don't need to get this warrior out right now. It's only going to cost me money. And slow down my animal husbandry even more. I think I'll just chop the granary. I could improve the copper, but I might as well just get the granary done now. Because I can. You want the food bar to be half when the granary finishes. So this extra food I gain by working this tile kind of just does nothing. Because it won't be stored when I grow. Well, it helps me grow this turn far or this size faster. But it, it won't speed up getting to size 3, I think. So I'd rather... Well, but then we don't work the commerce. And what are you doing? I'm doing... Have a peek at Hyanna's kitchen, okay. Go ahead and settle this. It might be a pay for itself by working the coast, although I probably want to work the hammers. Ouch. No, it wants to work food. No, we need to work hammers so we can chop the boat. Yeah, we're kind of killing our economy a bit, but grabbing land, you know, you always bounce back. And I think it's better to do it like this and do that, really. Well... I think growing it, even though I don't store any of the food in this case. Who cares about food storage? I'm more interested in working commerce and just growing and stuff. Yeah, it's fine. This is the max commerce way to do it. Just grow and work that tile and then I can work that tile faster and get even more commerce. And food won't be stored, but it doesn't really matter that much. Yeah, that archer went away. What a nice guy. Okay, Pericles is here. He's really down here in the ice, eh? Well, fair enough. Okay, this tile is fog busting all that. He's fog busting that. I'm fog busting that. So all of this is. All, all of that is covered. That's covered. This one is not covered. No, yes, it is by him. So all of this is covered. Just not this one. So I need to stay in range of that one. But I can go a bit more to the south. I'll take the commerce and the stuff right now. I'm kind of desperate. The growing one regardless anyways. Want to get this warrior out before the mine finishes, otherwise it'll become a spear. I just want warriors for happiness, really. Even though I have to pay for it, I think I'll still get him out because I really don't want the spear. Salos y salvos. Yeah, we're doing everything we can. We could work that, but that delays the boat. Might be able to get that in three, who knows. Taking a break from spamming cities because I need to get to writing, essentially. Once I get to writing, I can put more things down, but I don't have any trade routes and I don't have many cottages right now. Do you have to be a little considerate? Don't have to be, but it's not a bad idea. We'll ride this while we wait for animal husbandry. I kind of want to get that in two. I'm not sure if I can, though. I don't think I can. Because of that damn warrior I built. Well, maybe not. No, just because I don't have commerce. Unless we really go full on commerce. Uh, 
I mean, maybe next turn. We'll see, I guess. I'll work that for one turn. Getting that a turn faster would be quite nice. Too bad I can't be working the cottage. Do you get that tile? No, we're not making that, there's no way. Okay. Cut our losses. Monument. I think because the granary is cheaper, just get the granary. Maybe. And chop the granary in a bit. Oh, I don't know. Culture's kind of important here. Border city and all. Can get one X-Men to deal with crap here. If a disaster happens, like a spear starts walking up, I can whip an axe here anytime, so we are 100% safe. do that. The production is useless because we don't care about the barracks at all at the moment, that's just a filler. So it's really just two commas for one food, which is I think is a reasonable trade right now. Ah, it's clicked. Not too shabby. Okay, yeah, barbs can enter now, I'm pretty sure they are able to enter. How many guys are outside my border? Only three. Should be able to put an oh no, four. Yeah, can't put anyone else out. But so this is this is not even fog bust detect. Oh yes, it is. Uh, so this guy could go back or just retire. No, keep him. You can explore the coast a bit or something. I think monument and it also gets me that a bit first. Okay, so Pericles is here. I think he's on like a little peninsula or something. Interesting map. Nothing happened here. He was going mining, I think. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy cattle. The idiot didn't have mining yet. Well, I don't know. Finishing the road. Nah, it's not worth it. Three food. Just get another worker up there to help. Horses. Don't need it yet, but good to know. Yeah, looking like a pretty good map for some engineering enjoyment. Five cities, good number for an engineering rush. We are definitely pushing the expansion pretty hard. We're about to have five settlers at in 1600 BC. Um, for the record, when I was learning and climbing the difficulties, I always set like checkpoints or goals for thresholds like, I don't know, second city 2500 BC or something, five cities 1000 BC usually. And that's a really, really good rule for difficulties lower than DT. Like, in Mordor and below, you should really be aiming for five cities at 1000 BC. 95% of the time, because you can expand a lot more freely, you don't get as much barb pressure, you're much less likely to get attacked at that time on the Mordor or anything below, and you also pay less maintenance, you pay less for the techs. So you really should be leveraging that and expanding a bit harder. Now, on DT, the typical strat that Lane and I both use is usually stopping at about four cities. Get to four cities really quickly and then stop for a long time, like until 800 BC or something. And But with those four cities, you're aiming to block off land and then have stuff to backfill later. And then you can get to six, seven, eight later on once you have writing. Writing and honestly alphabet actually. Usually at Alphabet, that's when you want to start pushing the expansion, because once you have Alphabet, you can trade for a bunch of crap. 
but that relies on having some amount of tech right now. To get alphabet, you need to go like aesthetics usually. Um, so yeah, bit of explanation on how the expansion goes. I've mentioned this before, but I go, I really leverage Immortal and Below a lot more. Like the barbs don't enter for a while. They don't even bother you that much. I've had hardly any barb problems, but sometimes they can be bad. But on Immortal or anything below that will never ever enter before 2000 BC. So instead of spamming units straight after your first settler, you should get a second and even third worker as fast as you can during that leeway time and then get your units out because with more workers you snowball your uh, development much faster. See I'm kind of doing tons of stuff with three workers. I've got my roads done, I've got the copper, the cottages. We're in a really strong spot at 1600 BC. Our GMP kind of sucks but we're third in production and we're first on food. You see this? This is pathway to winning a game. Even though they get a free worker I've already like caught up on the food hammers side of things, which is pretty darn good. I'm gonna need a unit for happiness in here. Uh, let's just put this guy in there. We'll build an axe here because we've got nothing else to do. I wouldn't mind a couple guys, plus we'll need him for happiness anyway. So I could come down here and help with the pasture. I'm trying to think of what else I should be doing. Should I go build a road here? I might actually do the road thing because we are going writing next and we're not too far away from writing. So I want a road here to connect everything up and then I can road into Hyena by going bang, bang, road. So we might do that. We will do that, I think. Start building the roads while we wait for writing, then at writing we can chop libraries. And we have another settler, and I want to put that guy right there. The fur will be good, I think, and it's got food. We just need to farm a bit to get the food, but we can do that. Yeah, double happiness resource. Pretty good spot. Okay, he's popped his borders and he's like fog busting everything. Yeah, everything. So I'm going to go down here and see if there's like silver or something for me. We can build a road here that won't slow down the pasture at all because it's an odd number. It's two turns away, so they both go on this tile and finish the pasture next turn. But by doing that, I got my trade route one turn faster, so that's nice. By finishing the road. Small optimizations. It all adds up. To get into the habit of optimizing stuff like this, Immortal will become a breeze. If you're making lots of tiny mistakes and missing a hammer every turn or a food or a couple commerce every single turn because you're not swapping cottages, you're not swapping tiles, you're not moving your workers properly, it adds up. And honestly, all that micro makes the difference between Immortal and Emperor, I would say. Because it's about 5% and that is 5%. Idiots going bronze working, okay. Almost ready to go for writing though, our economy is doing fine, we've got good commerce now, pretty strong. Now we grow this guy to size 6, take this tile maybe, and you can work this one. Take this to grow a little bit, and work our way to size 6, because we can, we have elephants. And we're going to go here, always try and grow to your happy cap, always, always, always grow to your happy cap. More tiles is even better, even if you're working some piece of crap like a lake, or a coast even. It's still two commerce, which is going to improve your research. There's no reason not to grow if you can grow when you're peacefully developing. If you need units, then sure, prioritize some production, but we don't. We're okay. And I think we'll get another worker out. Or what? I think I need another worker. Like, I could grow, but another worker. Another worker first. We need to pasture that pretty soon. Come on dude, where's the silver at? Is it safe to go here? I think it's all fog busted, yeah. What's over here? Oh, cow's over here, okay, hello the cow. 
kind of want to put something over here just to block him off. Not a very good spot though. But we'll think about that. Might farm a bit for more food. Back here, I think I farm a grassland. I've got to wait a while for that. You're going to go here and immediately start chopping this so we get the monument in here as fast as possible and then you can start on the farm. Yeah, let's do that. Good to plan ahead with your workers if you can. <clears throat> I think we're 100% barb free now, bug busting the whole tundra. Except that one tile. But we're getting an X, so who cares? Pretty peaceful time on the barbs. We have Judaism. Okay, so another religion has entered the ballpark or whatever. The cow. Minus two only. Minus two. See if that goes up. Delay that for a turn at least. It probably won't pay for itself. Gonna need a unit in this city. Yeah, there's an archer walking around. Everything's fog busted, we're fine. Let's do that. Want the research. And yeah, improve the horses, it's a pretty good tile. Got nothing to build, dude. I don't want to get the guy out, it's gonna cost me money. Am I desperate enough to work this? It gets me riding faster, possibly. Yeah, I think if we work enough stuff, we get writing in two, which is kind of a big deal. That means I can go in here, road, and get five extra commerce a turn faster and start on libraries a turn faster. It's actually a big deal to get this faster. So let's go for it like that. Work the garbage. I probably don't even need to. No, we're fine. But if I settle this, we're not getting writing in one. I'll tell you that right now. So let's just wait on that one. While we're waiting for writing, we can actually move back in here and pre-chop this. Not finish the chop, but just pre-chop it. Just to make use of my worker's existence. Don't have to settle this. Get writing first, and then we can settle it, no problem. Let's cancel that road though, so I can chop next turn. Doesn't automatically finish the road. Road's not necessary. True glory consists in doing what deserves to be written. One, two, three, four, five, six. So none of them are Tokugawa. You can already tell that right away. Now, if I open borders of by. Um, how do I explain this? If you finish a road on the turn, on like your current turn, the trade routes won't update. But if you open borders, it force updates trade routes, and which will give me trade routes immediately one turn faster. You watch my income. See, it went up by two. But for some reason, I only got two trade routes. So he's such an idiot, he doesn't even have his cities connected. Playing like real hyena here, three cities at 1000 BC, not really doing anything. Probably building Temple of Artemis like an idiot or something. Um, okay, now we can look at the Diplo and see bribing. Okay, so Pakao doesn't like you enough, so he doesn't bribe it cautious. It's not like Monty or something or Genghis. Doesn't bribe it cautious. Does bribe it cautious. This guy's a psycho. Okay. Tokugawa opening borders are cautious? Well, that's not Tokugawa, is it? Um, does he bribe, though? 
No. There's only a few AI that are rather cautious. There's Mance and Musa, because Mansa's a bastard. <laughs> There's Mance and Musa. There is Monty, Jengus, Shaka. A few others. Uh, did we check everyone? Okay, well, he's saying nothing to gain. That doesn't mean he won't do it at cautious, though. Open borders with everyone, though. Get more religions and stuff. Okay, now. Get the libraries up, dudes. I think we are slow building this one. As we grow to size 6. I'll work that until I have the horses improved, I think. Here we go, library as well. We're going to have happy issues. We need the Axemen, that means. Axemen library. Library for sure in here. Whip that in two. Monument. Let me get the granary or what. We have no production here is the problem. Okay, whip the monument. Let me chop the granary. Then we whip library a bit later. No copper. Because he just got bronze working. He's not doing too well, the old Diana. We need a tile in here. I think we take we have to take that one. Chop granary. And we need some tiles in here, so I might cottage a couple of grasslands. Just because there's no tiles in there. Whenever you have a coastal city, you need a lighthouse and then you get two commerce, but you should be just cottaging grassland early. Uh, don't be like some people who only cottage rivers. Cottaging the grassland is perfectly fine. Two food, and then they'll yield you a bunch of commerce. So they don't slow your growth down, they just give you commerce and keep you growing. Still great tiles to cottage. Defaulting to aesthetics here, we might change it. I'm kind of banking money for a while and waiting and seeing. This is why you bounce your, your research to 0 and 100. Kind of so you can wait and see. You don't want to start going alphabet like this and then, you know, halfway through somebody gets alphabet and then it's like, well, damn, I should have gone aesthetics. Well, you can delay it for 10 turns until you have money and then make a decision, you know? It's much, much better to do it that way. I guess I could put the beakers into this, but I don't think I'm going to get there at a spectacular day. Someone should beat me to alphabet. Probably not Hyena Capek with the way he's going. And Tokugawa's being a psychopath! So who plots at 1200 BC? Uh, well, he's... Could be Shaka. He didn't bribe at Cautious, though, I'm pretty sure. So it could be Napoleon. Could be looking at Napoleon, maybe Marmad, Suleiman, Hannibal. Could be one of those guys. We'll see when the civil. Ah, ah. Okay, that's important. This might be Hatshepsut. Kind of likes everyone. Minus three, but still cautious. Minus three, but still cautious. Although Hatshepsut would have some worst enemies. So who else? Dury is a possible one. Brennus. Ramses. It could be Ramses, actually. I think Ramses is organized religion, and he's got kind of a more mid-peace weight. 
his piece weight 6, Hatchips it's piece weight 8. Hatchips it would hate the low piece weights. But Ramsey is, is a bit more chill, he's kind of mid-tier. And judging by this situation, I highly suspect it's Ramsey's. Ramsey's will bribe it pleased, but not at cautious. So that also lines up. So very good chance that's actually Ramsey's. And we got better tiles to work here, so let's work the better tiles. You can do that, I suppose. You're not connected to the network, actually, because I don't have a road to this river. Damn, we need workers over there. I might tip up with a worker in here. You could actually just go for a worker here with all this overflow. More important than the barracks. More useful than the barracks. And we could do another worker here, which might put me at five workers. Six workers. Six might be overkill. But Henrik never has enough workers, so who knows. Okay, we can chop this library to speed it up, or we could two pop whip. I don't think two pop whipping is that impressive. We'll just chop and save a turn that way. We can chop this worker. I think I'll grow to size four so I can work the mine and then finish the worker. One to three pop with this because it has a lot of food. Getting the monument. I like the food. It swapped off the library so I wouldn't hit 30 hammers so it can still be whipped for three population. I want to whip more population because we're having happiness issues. So by whipping more population, you prolong the time it uh, will be before you grow back into unhappiness. And you're getting more hammers for more food, essentially. It's just a better deal in terms of happiness. We might still do the worker thing here. Well, we got a work. No, we, we got lots of workers coming. Get a library in here. The culture will be nice, and I can overflow into a boat or something. Doesn't mean I can't put another cottage down though. Granary here. It's about building granary, let's do that. Because we're expansive and get out pretty fast by working the hammers. Even just a forest, 10 turn of granary, dude. Expensive is so nice sometimes. I kind of need more roads because Hyena's not really providing me adequate trade routes. Although maybe he's a bit better now. No, he still hasn't connected his cities together. Like, what is this, dude? Yeah, I know it's being pretty incompetent. So yeah, possibly Ramses. Not sure if there's anyone else that has that. Oh, maybe we'll back this now. Not sure if there's anyone else that likes organized religion other than Seri, Hatshepsut, Ramses, Brennus. I think it's got to be Ramses. Okay, now we do this. So 60, no problem. We got the happiness. We're going to get the furs fairly soon. We need to get workers down here. Let's do... Wow, look at that, dude. Hell yeah. Expansive in a nutshell. Check that out. That is so cool. <laughs> All right, bam. Library 110 faster. Let's not work that. Let's work... That, I suppose. And then we run scientists. Da -da, da -da 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 dun 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 I need a road here, really. But I could also use a cottage. Cottage here and here would be very nice. Both cities can work them, we can share them pretty easily. Alright, two workers coming, that's going to help a bit. Grow one turn faster, although the unhappiness also stacks up one turn fast, so I don't know about that. I think I prefer the commerce in that case. Saving money also means you get more bang for your buck, because you'll have libraries now to power your 100% research even more. 
so much value in just saving your research. Focusing on commerce, so we want to run scientists wherever we can. And it's almost time to turn the pig into a pasture. You're taking care of that. Now we can do that. Oh, it's still grow. Okay. That needs a cottage. This guy can connect a little stuff. a bit faster we need we just need to connect to this river so let's go here and row both tiles and then connect it to the river then the river's connected to that so we'll be fine commerce is not actually looking too good right now it should improve though Commerce is not improving, but our research is with all the libraries and scientists going up at 53 beakers now. And it's going to keep going up, up, up. Yeah, the unhappiness is a thing, isn't it? Slow the growth down because growing equals death. We need to get ready to hook up our fur. We want our workers on this tile the moment we pop borders in Toledo. But we've got all our workers in the area, so I think we can do that. I don't know if there's anything else I care about settling. Maybe I should gift Pericles something so he likes me. Because he's kind of behind me, but his land looks like complete garbage, so I don't actually really want to kill him. I can check for more spots. No. Nothing. Yeah, I really want to put my hammers into, like, research or something, not units. I've got to get to alphabet, though. Are these idiots going to get alphabet? Um... Decide next turn. Okay, we need a chop in here to finish the granary. And then we can start rooting up the fur. Just keep working the scientists. Oh yeah, we can do that. Better. Oh, might be a bad idea. I'm spiritual, of course I can say yes to that. I'm spiritual, baby. Isn't it nice being spiritual? That helps give me happiness there. Building a settler, mainly because I can't grow. More than anything. Chop that grain at me. Get ready for these furs. They need to be hooked up. ASAP. Also the rice. Yeah, I want... Two workers on the rice, two workers on the fur, dude. We're gonna we go big. We are gonna go big. Okay, everyone's getting like sailing, fair enough. And that's when the barbed galleys start appearing, usually when everyone gets sailing, but it's not really an issue on this map, obviously. Alright, we can work that one. Still can't grow though. put another cottage in here. Okay, he got that. He popped borders, but he doesn't have culture on this, so he won't get that for a long time. And to, which means I don't have to chop it for a bit. I really don't want to be building Axemen. Okay, do I just go for Alphabet? I think so.
So no one's gotten it yet. It means I can build research and then get to everything else quicker. I think I go currency, possibly, so I can sell cheap techs. It's usually a nice thing to, to do. Just keep building cottages. Oh, fish here. No, no fish, no fish. No fish. Fishless map. Oh, we need a cottage here, guys. In Judaism. Everything we can to push ourselves to alphabet faster. The sooner we get alphabet, the sooner we can stop building axemen and crap and just build research in our cities. I don't really want to chop this until... Until I can chop into research and store the hammers for something more useful. I really don't want the axemen as the thing. We've got two turns, so... Time to get into position. Writing? Wow, he sucks. He actually sucks for a financial industrious leader. What is he doing? What is he doing? Pericles the bastard got it already. No, not Pericles, Pekau. But I should still get something from it. Probably could have been better to go aesthetics first. I think I'll start rooting this up. Might settle the fur, although I already have three. Could claim all of them and just trade them away to everybody. Nothing to really trade them for. I could grab this corn that's still not grabbed for some reason. Go check that out. Alphabet. Won't trade, huh? Oh, he hates me. Religion. Wow, really? Wow, really? Talk about moody. Chop that one. Well, yeah, well, the thing I'm going off about myself, then you could say. No way to make him like me. I guess I could switch out the religion, then this place dies even harder. It's quite nice to get the plus one happiness in here. Ah, uh, you are going to hit unhappiness. So we get the fur, so. But we're onto it. We're, we're onto it nice and fast. Pretty efficient. These idiots don't have writing yet. See if anyone will give me sailing. And no. And no masonry from anyone. They can change our world. Maybe currency, just because our economy is not too hot. These guys are quite slow. 
Okay, it's not an organized religion. Enjoy it. What we need is monarchy. Does anyone have monarchy yet? Uh, no, 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 no. Stupid Pacal. Okay, we got the fur though, so we can grow. Grow everywhere. Let's get the scientist out first. Oh yeah, we need to pasture this idiot. Still can't grow for a while, but let's just run guys in there. Work toward currency. Generally a pretty good thing to go for. Uh, not so good on DT, but good on this level. Can I do this? Yeah, that's that's a good deal. You should hammer your iron when it is glowing hot. It's a great deal. A wonderful deal. The city it doesn't even have sailing yet. Not sure what he's doing, but he's wow, he's far behind. All right, wow. So Pacal hates me, but he likes everyone else. So he's kind of a mid-tier piece way, maybe like Zara or something. But well, Zara wouldn't be angry like that though at minus three with me, because Zara gives you plus one base relations. So it's not Zara. It could be Isabella. No, but Isabella would hate everyone that's not in her religion. So it's not Isabella. It's not Zara. Um. Who else? Maybe like Suri or something. It could be Suri. We thought it was Ramses, but it could also be Suri. Possibly. Minus two. Could be Hatshepsut. She's pretty angry about religion, but so is Ramses. I'm not sure. Someone who... No, hold on, let me think here. It has to be someone with a minus one first impression, not Hattie. That's not Hattie. So Ramses or Suri. Brennus gives you minus two, and Brennus would most likely hate other people a bit more. That's Ramses or Suri. I don't know, it's gonna give me a headache thinking about it all day, but yeah. Might get masonry off of these idiots. Just go for currency, fix the economy a bit. Give this to Pericles. He can have the fur. I've got enough. I could grab that, but that's only going to hurt my economy more. Don't think it's really worth it. I can chop that. Okay, scientists there, scientists there, scientists here. We're just trying to maximize our research output right now. Now, do I care about cottaging? I think I'd rather get the food up earlier, actually. Okay, and he went and settled this. It's possible Tokugawa comes across the map for me. Who does he have open borders with? Everyone except Bismarck. No. Just work whatever we can to get more research.
Where's my half finished X-Men? Might get him out just in case I get attacked. I'd like a guy up here. Need a cottage here, or a farm. Probably a cottage. Iron working. I could give it to him. Actually, wait, polytheism. Oh, you bastard. Yeah, get him out, let's be safe. Where's my iron? Where is it? Oh, my iron's up there. Oh, no. Oh, and... Hmm. It's not really in a great spot. I mean, I might get that, especially if I build the Great Library, I will get this, but... Ugh. Annoying location, for sure. Yeah, if I build the Great Library in Madrid, though, we'll pop the borders pretty darn quickly and I'll grab it. Well, it doesn't matter if I don't have iron. I have copper, I have horses, and I have elephants. It's fine for medieval era. Oh yeah, let's do that, dude. Okay, Pericles, my man. I'm a nice guy. No one hates Pericles, right? No. Santiago. Let's be cool, dude. Have a gift. Currency gives me something I can trade for, like, math, monarchy, and stuff as well. Almost there. We will need masonry, but none of these idiots are trading me masonry, so they're not Pericleses or Mansers, I think, which are, like, the top traders who would probably give you masonry. They aren't him. And Brennus is angry. He hates Hyanna even more. Okay, and Hyanna hates Brennus, although Hyanna doesn't care about religion much at all. However, he likes me because I'm in it. Yeah, kissing up to my neighbours. Oh, nice city, dude. Gold? Yeah, why not? Oh, nice golden age. Yeah, sure, why not, dude? Golden age in the BCs? Yeah, these are probably better tiles to work. I will have the happiness at some point. Making good commerce now. Yeah, let's go currency in three. Getting it nice and early, which is good. Run another scientist here and boost it even more. Too bad I got no stone for my citadels. There's unsettled stuff here, what the hell? Meditation, hey? Not monarchy, anyone. 
No one has monarchy out here. metal casting. Did he oracle it? Yeah, he must have. Uh, yes, let's do that. Any trades here for happiness? Can trade for iron. Uh, we're getting sailing trade routes with Greece now too. I took a go, it's still plotting. Mildly concerning. Let's make sure we get currency first. Nice having enough workers. Very rare that happens in my games. I think this is more because 33.75, 33.25. Yeah, but filling the great person pool was pretty good. Okay, we get this guy out next turn and we start growing on the cottage and stuff. Good amount of beakers from that. Oh, I can't really get much. No meditation and crap for 50 gold. Got polytheism. Or I could trade for this crap, to be fair. I don't think I want to help them, though. Academy really is the best choice. 90% of the time below DD. You're not in pressure to bold philosophy on the lower levels to just to get trades. You should just focus on building your economy and if you're gonna go Great Library that compounds with an academy. Good go Judaism and kill Hyena. Could totally do that. Here's a guy I want to kill. Bit of a stack up here. Even though I'm the worst enemy, it's kind of weird. We need mines for the Great Library. Also need masonry. These freaking idiots aren't going to give me masonry. Maybe I'll just cash in, save a couple turns of tech here. Go for that. Then I can hook that up next turn. Let's do that. Not for free, don't be silly. It is from their foes, not their friends, that cities learn the lesson of building high walls. Ah, right, here we go. Now we've got some deals. Oh man, the guys I want to get... Well, you... No, you don't have currency. You don't even have alphabet. That's right. Okay, never mind. thought they had currency, but no. I'll take the 30 gold. I don't need priesthood. That'll just make them fear him to advance. Brennus is gold. Oh, but he's angry. What if I go into Judaism? Hook's Mal. Okay, Bacal's teching. Hey, I'm on top of the scoreboard though. That's some um, expensive for you. A lot of early benefits. That can really pay off. Yeah, I kind of want to save that for math. Math is not available there uh, for a while though. So I don't know. Priesthood, so I can get a monarchy trade. Although I really don't need to do that yet. What we need is literature. 
Oh, we can go wealth instead of research and keep the slider up. Let's get that guy out. Just build that library slowly, I think. Want to work those high commerce tiles, I don't want to whip away the fur. Helping my research a lot right now. Only whip if you're whipping away tiles that aren't beneficial to you right now, like a forest. Forests don't do much. But like a five commerce fur, that's kind of helping my research quite a bit. So I don't want to whip that away. I'm getting 61 gold per turn. We can tech like a bastard now. Oh, forget the marble up. We can start fail golding stuff. Let's do that. We'll come back and chop later when we have math. <clears throat> Need monarchy, that'll give me a lot of happiness and the wine, so even more happiness. But once I start getting monarchy, I'll go take priesthood. There's no reason to get priesthood now. I'd rather get aesthetics a bit faster. Oh, you did that, did you? Well, you're not going to keep that. Because so I'm going to be taking that iron by force. I wonder what's over here. There could be fish there, I realise. I want monotheism. I can trade aesthetics for that, though. There's no reason to rush it. Don't want to really build missionaries yet. I want to get stuff. Pig for three gold. I think I hold on until I get more, though. Two gold. Oh, it's not even three gold. It's two gold. If it is three gold, I'll get it. But yeah, two gold is not that useful since I already have currency and I'm not losing money now. Not losing much. The cow builds the pyramids. Oh, there's Tokugawa. I can find his army. Eh, I'm not giving currency for 60 gold. This is such a bad deal. Just be patient. Just be patient. I do want to get that tech a bit faster, though. I think if I build research... Yeah! One turn aesthetics. That way we can start on path and on fail gold one turn faster and... Yeah. Get some more trade bait. Art for art's sake is I don't think we're getting literature into... Art for the sake of truth. Art for the sake of the good and the beautiful. That is the faith that I am searching for. Because Kung Fu. Oh no. Well, we're going to go to Judaism. I have it just about everywhere. I think I convert. It means we can grow in here. How about monarchy, guys? Anyone got monarchy yet? No. Oh, 180 gold. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now that's worth it. That helps. Now we probably can get this in two. Gonna start chopping that. Uh, because... Finish the library, one. Also, I'm gonna be farming that for irrigation here soon. So muzzle open up that option now sooner rather than later okay who's got production who wants to bail gold a bit uh i want all my stored production there to go into great library but we can fail gold here a little bit i suppose what are we doing here this is okay yeah yeah you could do that yeah get the library a little bit faster Ah, uh, Judaism. Yeah, maybe convert next turn as we grow into unhappiness in spots. Yeah, this one is not too happy with me, but 
What can he do? How about math, guys? No math. No math. Well, when more people get math, they'll be willing to give it to me. Um, so far we only have Pacal. But we know who's who. He went Ram. Doesn't really tell us too much. Could be Ramsey or Suri still. It has to be one of them. It can't be Grannis. It can't be Hatshepsut. That's all we know. Peace weight issues? Well, no. Ramsey's and Suri also kind of in the middle. It might be Ramsey's, and this could be a peaceful guy. That could be a peaceful guy. That could be a someone else but i don't know it's, so it's someone in the middle for sure okay well tokugo is over here i'll just keep this guy capital yeah i want to go chop i can't though what am i gonna go for next i'm gonna self-tech priesthood and then I'm gonna go and start taking math, I think. I don't want to self-take monarchy. Because as soon as one guy gets monarchy, they'll be willing to trade it. I can go connect the horses, I might get a trade for that. Anything else not connected yet? The rice? Make him pre-chop. Could mind that, but it's not very inspiring. I'd rather run scientists than work. Well, maybe I wouldn't. I'm not in rep. Yeah, mines are better for fail gold as well. There we go. Pump out the Parthenon and Sibyl. Now he's going mad, so I might get a trade for that. To be tasted, others to be swallowed, and some few to be chewed and digested. We're just pre-chopping. Yeah, I might get math. Let's let's get this. He might give it. They, they probably will, they should trade it when a third guy gets it in a moment. I don't know what Tokugo is doing though. Maybe his army's down here, he could already be walking toward me. We can go chop to the Great Library. The Lord bless you and keep oh, they're willing to trade monarchy, okay. Face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. I don't know about giving you currency for that though, you little bastard. I think I'd rather give you aesthetics and then trade aesthetics for map. On the same turn. Kashi Vishi. Wait for map on that chop. Oh, that was supposed to be a farm. Oops. Not sure what Tokugo is doing. Could be walking over the map to me. Definitely possible. Alright, let's make a start on it. Yeah, you just run scientists, that's fine. For now. For now. Ah, wrong wonder. Organized religion would also be nice. See what we can get next turn. No one will give me math. You damn freaking bastards. I also kind of want to do that, but 
I don't want to give away currency. Oh, you're going for it, you rotten bastard. You must be going for it, because I've already put half into monarchy. Oh, you damn freak. Well, I'll let you go for that slowly, and I'll just take both of these then. I am the Lord thy God. Thou shalt Whatever, he has currency. Doesn't matter. Be one ruler, one king. I still didn't get math, though. Freaking idiots. Don't care anymore. Finish that shot. Parthenon, yep. Such as this, sure, why not? We've got happiness. We can grow. Not much, but we can grow a little bit. This stagnating. No one's stagnating. We're just not growing very fast because we don't have tiles to really work, do we? No. Not a lot of tiles in this one. But how the hell am I going to irrigate this, by the way? I may have to farm over that. It's a civil service thing. The commerce is more useful right now, but later on the food will be more useful, so we destroy it later, not yet. Oh, that's my iron, but guess who's taking it? Oh, well, he'll convert me with his missionaries. That's nice. Little bastard Pakal. Like that, please. So you can be bribed at pleased. I think both Ramses and Suri are also like that. Oh, wait, 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 let's check. Is he pleased with... Okay, he's pleased with Tokugawa. Hmm. Doesn't tell me much. Friendly with him. Plus seven. He just hates everybody. But not really me. I think it's like Genghis card or something. It's one low piece weight that doesn't like religion. Really bribe it cautious. No. Heck, the hell could that be? Someone low peace weight or... No, not necessarily. Someone who doesn't care about religion, but... Doesn't bribe it cautious. Got no idea, man. I got no idea. Bismarck kind of hates everyone as well. Yeah, I'll just take math since you're all being bastards. Right, I'm gonna take a break. Um, yeah, this will be an interesting one. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.